Hello everybody and welcome back to more Risk of Rain 2 modded. We are jumping in again and we unlocked previously the arsonist here that you can see and I thought this character sounded really really cool and the artwork seems amazing so we're definitely going to try this one out and as you can see here we have some pretty interesting stuff to go over so let's take a look at our skills. I mean first of all we've got our passive. Arsonist will convert 50% of total damage received as fire damage over time um, but does not fall uh, damage... Does does not affect fall damage, I see. Arsonist also has resistance to fire damage from all sources. Um, and then we've got our abilities here, so we'll go through these as well, looking through some of the alternates. So we've got the normal gauge here. Heat gauge increased per level as well um, as with stocks on skills. Cooling rate also increased at higher levels of heat. Uh, interesting. We've also got the super critical gauge. Heat gauge does not increase. Instead, super critical gauge increases per level as well as with stocks on skills. Getting 2.5 times damage while heat is in the blue portion and damage down while it's out in the white portion. We've got fireball here, um, which is a fireball that uh, does 250% damage and ignites enemies on hit. For our secondary, we've got the signal flare. Uh, fires a long range flare that deals damage over time and exploding for extra damage, launching five flares that deal even more damage. We've also got the zero point blast. Propel yourself forward, blasting enemies behind you for 200% damage, uh, colliding shortly after launching into the first enemy and dealing damage around you. And now utility, um, ignite the area around you, dealing damage to enemies, um, grants a small boost of speed. And then for our special here, upon reaching the Anticipation threshold, activating damage, activating damage as you periodically in exchange for life steal from damage to others. After a short time, will detonate and then overheat. Sounds interesting. I think we're going to leave all the skills and default this time around, and we're just going to jump in and see what we can actually get going with this character. Because yeah, this 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 sounds really really cool. It sounds like it has some unique mechanics around it as well. Um, and we just got to sort of see how this this whole gauge works. The character looks amazing, by the way. We've got kind of this like flamethrower launcher thing going on here with the fireballs. Um, our second click there. So I think we've got to try and make sure we don't overheat. Um, our up arrow skill is the speed boost, which damages enemies around us. That's nice. And then our R ability we're unable to do. I'm guessing we have to be overheated to do that. So let's try that. But I really like characters in any game that's built around um, fire and heat. I mean, I've been playing a lot of... Um... So we're in overheat at the moment there. We do this. And we take some damage and we have a heat ring around us. And now we are overheated. So does, uh, does overheated just mean I can fire without increasing my meter? I like that. This is a cool system. It's kind of a back and forth. I've been playing Last Epoch recently. And I've been going hell for leather with fire. So, I mean, gasoline. Literally fuel to the fire. Why wouldn't we? I like that idea a lot. I'm going to be using this quite a lot to get our movement speed and move around a good bit. I like the fact that it's an arcing fireball as well, so we can kind of, like, <laughs> skillfully arc it towards enemies. That's really enjoyable to do. It's just satisfying. We've got a void item down there. One of those in the first stage is always nice. But anything that can increase our fire stacks and stuff is going to be really good for us here. Ooh, that thing's kind of crazy, and it sticks there for a little while. There was a, yeah, there goes, three things shop here. None of these are good. I'll take Bustling Fungus because it might, we might get the, um, the void version of Bustling Fungus, which would be, which would be quite good. I've overheated now. I like this a lot. This is really cool. We'll open this bad boy up. I've got to deal with some of these guys. Luckily, we set them on fire. Oh, you did manage to actually get one of those there. Setting them on fire should be enough to kill them. Um, deal bonus damage to enemies that aren't nearby. Corrupts all focus crystals. Okay, that's kind of nice. So, basically, we deal extra damage to enemies that are further away. We have taken a lot of damage so far. We are on low HP here. You were invisible, but you are no longer. I want to be using my speed boost as well when I can. I think I've just got to get some health regen going as well. This 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 guy, uh, his health is regening very, very slowly, so anything that can boost that up would be rather nice. Got a pretty fast cooldown, this speed boost. I kind of like the, uh, the the visual for it as well. Kind of an overheated speed boost, kind of. 
I really like trying to arc things into flying enemies in any game, but especially this game. So there was another ability I could have taken that propels me forward. That probably would have been good for a, a bit of extra um, movement stuff. Nice. Okay, we've got another three uh, three shot there. So I can I think I can end this at any point, and then I don't know. Really, I, I'm I'm still a little unsure how the overheat works. I don't know if I do extra damage while I'm in overheat. I think I do. Gives me a little jump boost as well. There's a chest here too. Grab that real quick. Gain some shield and receive a speed boost when your shield is broken. That's pretty nice. I like uh, I like shields. I don't know when best to use the flares. So the flare fires and it explodes into a bunch of other flares, doesn't it? That's what I remember it saying. Uh, shop here we've got... We'll take mystery. Increase movement speed while in the air. Oh, I very much like that. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot the flare. Yes, okay, I think yes I am. I'm supposed to fire it, so if I fire the if I fire this like here, look, and then I shoot it. I, I don't know how I did it before, but I definitely I, I think I'm meant to shoot it. That seems to be the case. I don't think I'm meant to hit an enemy with it though. Hitting an enemy seems bad. Right, let's get out of here. If we can. Is that another that's another three shop over there that I never took? My bad. Good. So if I want to fire this like here. I, I don't really know how to use the flare properly. I managed to get to explode before, but... Also, the amount of gauge I have has gone up. So I'm in overheat now. I have to use my thing before I get to overheat. My R ability. I've got to be pretty mindful of that. I'll take a sticky bomb, thank you. And we'll go and do our uh, thingy over here. So if I just hold down fire, we've got a thingy here as well, look. Equipment. Missile launcher. So why can't I use my R ability right now? This confuses me slightly, our ability now. I can stay close and do some good damage with this. It, this is still like yeah, pretty amazing, yeah. I'm liking this. The damage output, the amount of fire we can put out. Ukulele's a good a good thing to have on top of this as well, actually. I quite like that. I don't like that this uh, item's giving me this big blue aura around me though. Every now and again. Okay, so on overheat, I'm not I can't fire very quick at all. And I don't I don't think I deal fire damage while I'm in overheat. Go flare, go. <laughs> it's not exactly what I meant, but I'll see you later, flare. Yeah, this is this is pretty beautiful. All of our damage has the chance to ignite as well. I like it. I mean, just look at this character model as well. Ooh, I like the way the bustling fungus comes out of his actual gas mask. That's really nice. This is what I mean by like, making characters seems tough. So may maybe I have to like right click and then right click again to detonate it. I really got to figure this out because I really don't know how to use it effectively. Let's go. The abilities are a little confusing, but I'm dealing good fire damage, and that's all I care about. That is all I care about. Got wetlands. Wetlands aspect void. Ooh, the void version of this area looks very nice. We're doing really, really high damage as well right now. Yeah, th this blue aura is slightly annoying. I wish this didn't appear. Makes it a little hard to see things. It doesn't always appear though, so I'm not quite sure why it's sometimes there and sometimes not. Oh, 
these little shits. Yeah, so that one... That one just exploded, but before it exploded into a bunch of them, and it's just... It's confusing me. Maybe I need to just read it more. Is there an easy way to do that? There is. Okay. Signal flare. Fire a long range signal flare that deals damage, then explodes, launching. Okay, it says that it just does it, so. But it says there's a 14 second cooldown, but this clearly doesn't, so. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's okay, shield generator. Not bad. Was that Will of the Wisp I see? I think we'll definitely be taking Will of the Wisp here out of those items. I think that one seems preferable to us. So when I press my R ability, you can see that now my heat is just growing and growing and growing. So like if we... If we then take a little look at... Let's not die while we're doing this, please. Y'all guys want to chill out. Right, if we, if we take another look at this. Upon reaching anticipation threshold, which is just before overheat, activating damage as you periodically in exchange for lifesteal. After a short time, it will detonate, then overheat. Yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. So I think I think anticipation threshold is, like, getting really close to it. Also, like I said, as we level up, our heat seems to be going up. We're at 135, and I think we started at 100. So yeah, now we're in anticipation threshold. And we can pop it. And we get life steal from enemies here. And then we detonate. Killing things around us. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like it. It's a little tricky to like use super effectively because you've got to kind of be thinking about it a lot. I think overall it's quite good. I just love how like stylistic this character is, man. For a modded character, it's super well done. Gain X, uh, Express Boost, uh, increasing your attack and movement speed, stacking three times for sets each stage. Increased duration of buff effects. Ooh, that was kind of cool. That's actually good, because I, I believe that means that... Um, oh, wait, no, buff effects. That's That wouldn't include the fire, would it? That's not a buff to us. It's a damaging effect to enemies. Infusion's always good. Oop, the thick fog's coming in. Oh, my lord. The fog in Void is, uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit to deal with. Good old watch. We know and love it. We've got one more over here. We've probably got a few more chests around that I've not gotten yet. Like, behind here and stuff, but I don't want to spend too long on this stage. I'm going to take a little trips back and see. Another chest here. Hey, mix your other items randomly. I like that. And this could be quite good with like massively increased fire rate, so you're like always reaching the threshold quickly and can use your R ability a lot. We've already got like pretty good fire rate going on right now. So we've got this coffee boost thing going on. Increased odds of chance base effects. I'm going to be generous with the chests right now. I accidentally hit an invisible enemy there. Hey, the fog's finally going away. Lovely. Fog is quite distracting. Enemies, where art thou? Have a flare. Maybe it's just bugs. I don't know. Oh, come on. We're one penny off. Well, there you go. Gotta love that speed boost. I'm taking damage, gain a boost in speed. We've got a lot of things like that. We lose our shield, we gain a boost in speed. We take damage, we get a boost in speed. There are some wacky effects on us right now, though, that are making everything a little hard to see. Keep going back over towards this. We'll uh, 
crack that multi-shop open and we'll uh, do our boss. That movement speed boost is lovely. Warband is actually not a bad choice right now, but I'm going to take coffee because coffee's great. Attack speed and movement speed. And then we've got, ooh, new boss. Never seen you before. He seems pretty cool, but he seems like he's going to be a pretty easy kill, to be honest. Although these Healy boys are uh, doing a number on me right now. Right, ten enemies simultaneously, damn right. Again, permanent armor on kill, that's very nice. That seems like that could scale pretty well into the end game. I'll crack this open just to see what we get. Interrupts an enemy as it's ready to attack, freezing them. Uh, ah, I'm still happy with what we've got going on with that ATG missile launcher. ATG missile launcher all the way, baby. Only on 60% so far. We'll just use ATG to clear a path there. I like the fact that ATG can trigger other things like uh, ukulele and stuff. It's very nice. A sip of my drink. Bustle some fungus while we're here. Why not? Take a few of you out. Look at the little... Oh, look, look at the bustling fungus, the way it, like, flops around. I like that. Right, there we go. Whoa, yo! Quickly! Yes. <laughs> we are Scott Jacob's Jade. Wisp installation. Oh, this area looks really nice in like with this green turn to it. I absolutely love this mod that adds the, the different weathers and turns to the maps. It changes the visual so much. I do believe as well there's a chance that it'll like flip areas around and stuff. Okay, so we've got two shops over there. I think I'll start over there. Just launch my missiles because they'll seek stuff out and kill it for us. They'll find things to kill. So one of these is an active, and we do have the beast, uh, the beast gun, which is kind of nice. That allows, I can't remember what it's called now, the beast hunter's musket or something. It's pretty good. Two stun grenades in here, not particularly amazing, but we'll take it. Can I, like, yeet a shot down to an enemy that's miles away? What's that thing over there? Yeah, that shot doesn't even reach. Enemies do be spawning all around us. Okay, there's some boys down there as well. Oh, they look really close. I thought they were on the other area. I like the fact that this shot has like a bit of an AoE to it. It's rather nice. Ah, completely missed with that. Do you know what it feels like? It feels like juggling with um with with Soldier and Team Fortress 2. You know, shoot an enemy into the air and you juggle them a little bit. It's got that same sort of cadence to it. Right, let's grab this over here. More speed boosts. I like it. I want more gasoline. I want more, more fire spread with this guy. Yeah, look at that. It's like bouncing them away. So this is an enemy. It's a freeze specific enemy. Go with the heat there. Releases, um, okay, kind of good. Get a barrier, I like that. Barrier when we're using the teleport by the sounds of it is what that's going to be. Oh, one of those big boys just died, I think. I think he tried to jump over the gap and missed. Right, what else we got going on over here? Things are a bit slow going at the minute with enemies spawning, but we'll get in there. We do have some chests back where we spawned as well, so we've got plenty to take a look at. 
Here I go, um, I have to activate the teleporter. I like the teleporter event based ones. Okay, teleporter is over here as well, so we know that now at least. Anything going on down here? Not by the looks of it. How about down here? We do have a shop down here, nice. Oh, that, well, that, that works that time. We'll take the uh, watch again for the extra damage. My god. <laughs> this... It all stacks up so crazily. Overheat time. It's time to nuke him. I do see some stuff over that way. Go check that out. Ooh, double chest right next to each other. Boom, boom, boom. E Topaz Brooch is really good. Or Brooch, as some people call it incorrectly. Brooch. The heathens. What the hell's a Brooch? Right. Well, I think I saw a chest over here, didn't I? Or was I incorrect? I guess it is good. Med box, med kit, whatever you want to call it. It's fine. I, d I kind of want to grab this thing. I don't know what it is. But it's 500, so it's got to be something good, right? Your past will be familiar. Okay. Some sort of quest based thing. I don't know if this is a mod or if this is something that, uh. There's something that's in the vanilla game. I'll be honest, I'm so behind with, like, what the vanilla game includes now that, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I just have no idea what I'm seeing or picking up. Especially lore related stuff. Right, let's get back up there. There is a jump pattern, isn't there? Right, go up here. We'll do that as well, why not? We should probably grab the gun for uh, killing the boss, because it means it's a guaranteed special item, so... Special items are normally pretty good. Right. There was a chest... Yes, here it is. I'm gonna say, there was a chest where we spawned, which is right here. Oh, thank you very much. Very happy with increased movement speed. I think with the maps being so big, it's just something you feel like you need. And then we've got anything else around here. Doesn't really look like it. It looks like that's our last thing. There might be something up top of here. We've got some Turpaz brooches. Um, I will grab a few of those. I lost my movement speed. Annoying. I'll be honest, I lost a lot of stuff I liked there. But um, Turpaz brooch is really good. So. Unfortunately, we lost our movement speed, which I'm pretty sad about. We lost our sticky bombs as well, which were doing us pretty good work. But defensively, Turpaz Brooch, it just means we get a hell of a lot of um, thing. And we've got an item that uh, gives us less barrier decay as well, so makes sense to me. Right, I'm going to go and pop this. Then I'm going to grab the gun. And we're going to make our way back to the boss. We'll probably have to come back and grab the um, the rocket launcher thing. What the hell's it called? Either way, we'll come back and grab that. We'll kill whatever boss this is with this. Yeah, I like that lifesteal. That lifesteal's nice. Here we go. And we got, we got like one of the best ones. Oh wait, no he didn't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, it's just not the one I thought it was. I thought it was the bleed one. The bleed explosions. But it is also a nice instant boss kill as well. Oh, we got, we got this thing on top of the, on top of that there. Is that something to do with the thing I bought for 500 earlier? Is that unrelated? I'm unsure. I think now we just have the active that just says ahoy all the time. 
if I remember correctly. I haven't had this in a little while. Oh, there's a burnt out ship here that I didn't see. I don't know if there's anything there. Also, is this a chest here that I missed? It is. I don't think this burnt out ship has anything to do with anything, to be honest. I think it's just decorative. Beautiful stuff. I just like, it's just pretty. It's just pretty is what it is. It's just pretty. Yeah, it literally just says ahoy now. Dude, yeah, with this barrier thing on the teleporter, I'm like nearly unkillable. I got them. Love it. Right, let's quickly go and get our uh, thingy back. Is there no quicker teleport to get up here? Like, booster? I thought there was. I thought there was like a booster down here to get up. Obviously not. It's a little bit of a trek, but oh, it's more of a trek if you die. Grab that. Disposable missile launcher. Thank you. And we'll just jump off here. We're nearly done. I think we're on like, I think we're on like 85%, weren't we, sir? Yeah. Cool. Right, let's get out of here. Cool. Good to go. Now, I really like this class. This class is a lot of fun. What the hell's that? Shrine of Heresy. I don't know what that does. Ooh. So, I was just about to say, this is definitely a new stage. It's actually not. It's just a very, very different uh, looking stage. So, this is actually the, the like one that's been in the game a little while. Um, it's, it's the newest one to the game, but normally it's a lot more dark and green. And... This has made it into like a desert theme. It looks really good. There is also a hidden uh, golden chest on the stage as well. Oh my lord, that was quite the knockback there, sir. Get fired up, my guy. Right. Let's take a little look around and see where our chests are. We've got some chests over there. Basically, we want to look for some mushrooms to know where the golden chest is. There's a few different locations it can spawn in. Um, I'm going to check them if I can. I'd rather check them before I open chests, but I'm here now, so... Fuel cell's rather nice here. I think we've got to go up and around here. So one of the locations is down that corner there. We've I've kind of seen that from the, the, a distance. It's not up there. One of the locations is just up to the top of this. It's not here. Although there's something here. Oh no, it's just a dead mushroom. Other location. Probably shouldn't have jumped that high. Oops. One of the other locations is on these mushroom steps. Halfway down, I think it is. Not here either. I do see a big chest there, however. I'll go and check that out. That's not a big chest, actually. It's just a regular chest, but still. No discrimination. Oh, my God. Were you invisible at one point? My goodness. That's a big boy. That is a big boy. Holy shit. He's not taking all the damage either. This guy seems pretty immune to the fire that we're putting out. But he's a beautiful, beautiful creature. We just need something like... There's definitely got to be an item, like a modded one or something, that increases the amount of damage burn does. That's what we need. Make our burn really, like, go crazy. 
Okay, nice. We got a lot and a lot of cash all up from fighting that guy. I don't see the baby mushrooms anywhere around here either. There's our teleporter though. That's good to know. A uh, bit of a weird location for it, to be honest, but good to know. We can. I think we can jump on these. Yes. Is that a 3D printer right there? That it is. I don't know what that is. Oh shit, there's like a void snake or something in here. Some sort of snake trying to attack us. I'm going to back away from all this for now and uh, make my way elsewhere. I think it's near here because there's all the blue sparklies, but I don't know if that actually means anything if that's just stage design. A tricky stage, this one. A tricky stage. Not like the other ones where it's just like, here's the legendary chest, same place every time. This one's a bit more like, nah, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do some fuckery to find it. Hey, okay, scratch ticket's good. We've got one of them already. Yeah, the other place is down here, but yeah, as you can see, it's not down there. Increased damage of nearby allies after standing still. That's unfortunately not great for us, but. Thank you, nonetheless. More HP, more utility items you have. Potentially pretty good. Do you need some more movement speed? I would like that very much, sir. And a lot of big chests. A lot of big chests. Hey, that's very good. We've had that before. The movement speed it gives you is pretty significant. Chest over there I just missed. Kind of taking my sweet time on the stage here, but... I would like to find the legendary crate if I can. Again, movement speed increases with decreasing health. Okay, kind of good. Lower our health gets, the more our speed goes up. The last mushroom location that I know of. Reduce damage against 100 hits. Oh, thank you, Goat Huff. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, like, up here is, like, the last location I know of that can spawn. So, I'm really unsure as to where it is. I do not know. What is this, uh, this, this big cube thing that's spinning around at the speed of light? It's not in here. I genuinely don't know. It's got to be like on the underground bit somewhere, maybe. I don't know where the other spawn locations are. Oh, is that it there? No, it's not. This is something entirely different that I, I'm confused by. It's got to be on the underground bit. Inspect. Tiny imps appeared. Whoa! Whoa, they're very small imps. What the hell? They are very tiny imps. You will not incorrect. I'm guessing I've got to kill them all. They're very, very fast. Is that all of them? Is that all the imps? I think. Hey, there you go. Missile launcher. Not bad. Not bad for killing a bunch of imps. Yeah, literally the last place I, I, I think I can look is over there. Otherwise, I, I genuinely don't know where it is, and I'm just going to have to leave. I've already spent a bit too long on this stage, to be honest. There's a healing drone here. I guess I'll grab that. Yeah, I genuinely don't know where it could be. I am perplexed. Someone, I'm sure, in the comments is like, There's this one location you haven't checked, you fool. You absolute fool, how dare you. Right, let's get out of here. Be the boss. I, I've been up there, haven't I? I have been up there. Let me just quickly do a, a quick check. It's not exactly where I thought this was going to throw me, I'll be honest. Not where I thought I'd be going at all. 
The boss is kind of over this way anyway, so I don't mind checking this last little other area here. No. Nothing. I kind of want to see if I can jump on that little floating box thing. Go, go, go. Ah, missed it. Right, boss time. Fortunately, I could not find it. Luckily, we're killing these guys very quickly with ATG missile launcher and stuff. Go, 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 go. That was very close. I got behind that tree just in time. Yeah, no, no, no fireballs for you, thank you. Yeah, ATG did a number on this guy. I think this guy's been healed by the dude behind him, which is a problem. Yeah, that tree has saved our life a few times here. Beautiful stuff. And we get ourselves this. Eh, it's not bad. Oh god, there's a lot of these guys. What the hell? There's numerous of these big fellas. It's just so annoying to have this much money and not know where the fucking legendary crate is. It's probably like off a little ledge off the map or some shit, isn't it? It's like a little ledge down here or some crap. I know what you're like, game. We are trickery, you know, tomfoolery. Yeah, see you guys doing your shenanigans up here as well, please stop. There's so many of them, holy shit, there's mushroom guys for days. Now that we're like 180 heat, it's a lot harder for us to overheat. Grab that. Might be the furthest we've made it on episode so far. Nice. We're nearly at the loop. This is just the vanilla version of this. Corrupts all med packs. Prevents a small amount um, of debuffs before breaking. Each debuff prevent it has a chance to bless. Ooh, sounds interesting. I like the idea. I like the idea. Oh, there's a Grove Tender. We'll uh, see if we can kill him. He can be a little bit of a sketchy boy, but we should be able to kill him easily. I'm gonna get hit by his chains. Just give us a ton of money to start off with. We've also got one of those guys, like a little floating orb guys. Fire one. He did hit me with his orb, but actually at a pretty good time. Hello, sir. You, uh, you're corrupted. That's not good. You could probably do some pretty pretty insane damage to me if I, uh, if I let you get too close. He seems to have teddy bear as well on him. I've overheated here. Oh, God. There's one of those guys as well. There's all sorts of bad this is. The void enemies can be insanely tough. We do have a lot of void stuff going on in there, which is nice. Ooh, we got a blessing there. Stay into the abyss and soon it'll stand back. Interesting. Let's do a little walk around this. We got plenty of money to work with here, so let's just open stuff. Goat hoof there is lovely. What is this bad boy? It requires an item. How many more enemies we got? Well, one more monster to go. Which could kind of be anywhere. They tend to like to not stay within their area, not stay within their designated spot. Oh no, there he is. This one luckily has. Corrupts all pixie tubes. Dropping damaging wisps. Okay, yeah, why not?
I teared a hole in reality. Oh. Hello. Okay, so that's what that means. <laughs> Okay, let's do a bit more shopping first before we actually use that, but I will use that. It seems interesting. But there's a lot and a lot of shopping to do first. We've got plenty of money to work with right now. And we just got to find the chests. Hey. How you doing? There's the teleporter. Wait, actually, is that the teleporter? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. Chest over there. Spent cartridge. You want it to be an artist. Don't know what that means. Ooh. Your drones fire fast, they have less cooldown, and we get kernel drone as well. Nice. Don't mind if I do, little drone buddies. Make our way over towards this over here. Oh, these guys have jumped down to me now. They are very much up for a chase. Movement speed boost when not, movement speed boost when not sprinting. Interesting. I have missile launcher. And utilize it, good sir. Oh, that movement speed is pretty lovely. Squid polyps is whatever. Obviously not very good, but it's fine. Is this the vanilla stage? I don't recognize this. Ooh. Plant a healing fruit on kill. Ah, uh, I remember this but not being very good, actually. It's, eh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I remember this not being amazing. Ooh, a lovely soldier syringe there. A lot of layers to this area, so a lot of chests can be hidden around. 3D printer over there. Got you there, hello. I think we're just going to go for the uh, the void portal, wherever. If anyone can remember where that was, <laughs> that would be great, because I don't. I think it's up. I'm pretty sure it's up. Maybe not up here, specifically. There it is. Yeah, it is up, it's just not up here. Gamble of the century here. Oh, I fucking missed. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, that, that did not work in the way I was hoping it would work, but it works. Holy shit, what's going on with my movement speed right now? Oh, is this the stacking movement speed when I don't move for a while? Oh my god, it's insane. Right, quick little cursory glance at the top here. Okay, I think we are good to go. Let's head into this null portal here and see what's what. It might be a terrible decision, but I'm willing to find out. Oh, it takes us here. Nice. Okay. I'm cool with that. I mean, we died here last time, but I'm cool with it. By the way, in case people are wondering, my goal isn't really ever going to be to do the final boss. I just, I'll be honest, I don't really like the final boss of this game. I, I prefer to do um, obliterations or just go until I die. Uh, so obliteration is usually my goal. Look how cool our character looks. Unfortunately, we got a pretty bad monster as our first monster here. It's an ideal. What up, Colonel Drone? I'm, st I'm standing still so I gain insane movement speed when I have to move on. You're hard to kill, my guy. You're very hard to kill. There's another one up there as well. Oh, God. Yeah, these are bad enemies to get for this. 
No, 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 the movement speed's fucking me. Take whatever. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. It's over here, good. I found it. No. Oh, dude. This movement speed is actually so problematic. I'm moving so fast. It stacks up a big style. I'm just trying to look over the edge, man. At the minute, they have Paul's go up as well, so they are, they are literally fucking huffing it. Okay. Like you to die, please. Thank you. Okay, ninety-four percent on this one. Should be able to see a lot easier where our next one is from here. There you go. Okay, now this is problematic because there's just a lot of enemies that can see us very easily here. The good thing is, the more things we kill, the more Topaz Brooch keeps going off, so... And we've actually got some smaller enemies now that are easier to kill, so... We're in a good spot. Topaz Brooch should be able to keep us going. Still a bit scary though. Still a bit scary. Especially with the movement speed buff they have, goddamn. They're coming at us at such speeds. Such high speeds. Yeah. Nearly done with this one, 74%. These enemies are just really rough. We get all these healing flowers though, which is actually kind of nice for this. What that is, I'm just gonna take it. Right, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? We go! Go, 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 go. That one was nice and close. So now they have um, health regen for 20 minutes. Which I don't know how much health regen that is for these guys. It's probably not a lot. Colonel Drummond's actually taking a bunch of fire off of me, and considering he basically can't die, it's pretty nice. Yeah, this is working out. We've got an item that's not, not too good for them, to be honest. Health regen doesn't help them all that much. Unless I don't shoot them for a really long while. The amount of health I'm getting out of Topaz Brooch I'm getting from all the healing and stuff on the floor. It's very hard for them to kill me at the moment. Oh, goddamn. Eighty-one percent. Oh, I've got that thing where when I hit them, it fires a little thing in the air and shotgun blasts them. I really like that. Just take what I've already got. Where we going? Where we going? Where we going? All the way over there. Ah, oh, fuck, it's upstairs. God, okay, we don't have a jump ability either. This is bad. I've made a mistake here. Luckily, we do have good movement speed overall. That was not the best route for me to take there. That was tricky. I saw the salamander boys are in. Oh no. The salamander boys. Luckily this is in a good position where it's actually hard for enemies to get to us. Or at least the big enemies to get to us. We should be mostly okay. 
Ah, wait, no. <laughs> With movement speed, those guys are going to be very problematic. If three or four of them get on at the same time, we just die. Even with all the healing and stuff we've got going on, I think. The lifesteal thing we can get going on, though, is really nice. That's helping us out. You can see the amount of healing. Oh, God. Look at the speed of them. No. They come in so fast. Yeah, there's, there's three of them at the minute. I basically have to not get hit by their fire breath. This is fun. <laughs> I love this sort of thing. Hello, sir. Ball looks probably pretty good here. Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? I don't know where I'm meant to be going anymore. Okay, fuck it. I've, I've fucked it. Okay, it's over there. It's over there. I see it. Oh my god. Right. Now they've got three times of whatever this item is. 4% chance to hit Seeking Orb. Okay, that's not great. Some sort of Seeking Orb that can chase me down. I don't like that. And also, this is a much worse location because uh, the enemies can get to me a lot easier. The lucky thing is when the enemies are grouping like this, it's actually really easy to kill them all. And it's also creating just a really massive area of healing for us with this healing flower. I got a blessing as well there. Okay, so there's the seeking orbs. You just saw one of them pass by me then. Little purple orb thing. I think I can dodge them, so they're not too bad. I do wonder if, like, when, when people are designing modded items, if they design them with this in mind. Because surely some of them you have to, otherwise they could be, like, instant death ones. Or maybe you can, like, make it so they can't show up in this mode. Maybe there's a way you can, like, decide whether that's plausible or not. Um, what are we going next? I really hate this the way it does this, where it's just like, eh, just figure it out. And sometimes you just kind of can't. And now we've got gups on us as well. Which aren't actually that bad, so that should be fine. Again, a lot of AoE damage allows us to take over here. My game seems really loud, by the way. I apologize if the sound is still a bit too loud. I'm on 6% master volume, it shouldn't be. Maybe it's just kind of the music. The music's pretty pretty intense. Audio, music. Put the music down to like 70%. I do like the music, but quite intense. And the spent cartridge there. I don't really know what the spent cartridges mean, but they keep showing up. We seem to have enough healing to keep us going here, but I say that and I could just get insta-killed by something at any moment, so we'll see. I can't remember how many waves of this there is. Oh, it's nine, okay. I'm on six so far. Dumb. I've still got three left after this. This is already pretty fucking tough. Some pretty brutal enemies already as well. God, it's the champions as well, it's difficult. Definitely the extra movement speed after kills, thank you. Um, okay, I see it, I see it. Go up top here. Ukulele, very nice. And they gained three times whatever that is. Increase attack speed and damage for 16 seconds when an, uh, an ally is killed by an enemy. Oh god! That could be real bad for us, if that works the way I think it's going to work. They gain 300% attack speed and damage every time we kill one of those. It seems like they're getting it as well. That is, That guy has a lot of fire rate. Luckily, like I said, the amount of healing and stuff we put on the floor is making us hard to kill. Doesn't make us unkillable, though. There's that healing coming in. Lovely. Ukulele I can hear doing some work. Mm 
on overheat at the minute. But we've done this one as well, lovely. Infusion for extra HP. Where are we going next? Okay, there you go. I don't know what the this item is, but honestly, ah, oh, the healing. I didn't, I didn't want to get rid of the healing circles. The best attack ignites enemies for massive damage afterwards hits also ignite. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh wait, we haven't activated it yet. I was wondering why we're still taking damage. I, I didn't activate it. Okay, losing the healing circle things might be the death of us. I was really hoping I wouldn't lose that. I took a gamble. But we might be okay. This ignite for massive damage thing we got going on could be really good too. Yeah, but you can see my health is just not coming back like it was before at all. That healing was pretty imperative for our survival, I think. I also didn't look at the new item that they've got. It's some sort of a legendary ring. 5% critical chance, critical sites reduce cooldowns by one second. Okay, that's actually... Not, that, that doesn't really do anything for those guys. They do get some crit chance, but otherwise that's fine. We have done it. And hits that deal 5% damage to kill effects. Um, Receive. What do we go with that? That seems interesting. Am I taking damage still? What's going on right now? Ah, I just gotta go. I didn't really get a chance to properly read what that did, but... Okay, I, I do now. It's, it's over. It is over. What does that do? The thing that I just picked up. So this is the Ignite. That's really good. Where's the other red item that I've got? Okay. Hits that deal 500% damage or more will trigger on-kill effects. Upon success, the ring must recharge for 10 seconds. Okay, it seems good. And then... Enter Void Portal. Enter Null Portal. Don't really know the difference. I'll be honest. I don't really know the difference. Oh, so we're back to here again. Okay, I see. Well, back to here. Is this the same stage as before? I don't know. Wait, is this a boss fight arena? This looks crazy. I don't think I've been here before. If I have, it's been a while. Activate the deep void sigil. Okay. Signals even, not sigils. Okay, so this is just a bunch of void enemies by the looks of it. Yeah, so we, we, we burn enemies very quickly now. The, the amount of stacking burn we put on enemies is is kind of crazy. NTG missile launcher there. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. <laughs> 45%. There's an enemy doing little things to us somewhere, but I don't know where. It could be above us or what? I don't know. Oh, hello. Oh, this is a Void Crab. If it is, they, they, they kind of nuke us when they die, so we've got to be careful. Okay, luckily their nuke's actually not that big. 82%. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Is it you that's doing this? Void Crab thing. That's one done. Another one over here. Oh, man. It's been scary times, this has. So this guy throws a ball at us when he dies, I think. Yes, he does. He throws a Void Ball directly at us. That's not too bad, actually, as long as we stay on the move. I think it is the Crab Boys that are doing those shots on us. Yeah, that health leech is really nice. Don't suck me towards you when you're about to die, you fool. That's horrible.
Ah, oh, but got, they keep sticking me. Stop sticking me to the floor. Although it does like to bit bustling fungus, which is kind of nice. A lot of these here. I'm not going to take that for now. Let me go over. Oh, there's a big, big boy crab here. Not fought one of you guys in a while. I don't remember how you work, but I imagine you do quite a bit of damage. That's a champion version of you. Get this going. Okay. Stop sticking me to the floor, please. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Activate my health. Steal. End it there. Oh my god, there's so much going on. It's very hard to keep track. I don't know how I'm not dead, I'll be honest. I think I just have a very good build right now. Oh, almost got hit by that. Be really careful when these guys die that I'm not nearby. The radius on that explosion. It's not huge, but it can get me pretty easily. 70% now. Lovely stuff. Last one is over there, I see it. Don't think we've got any more enemies for the last remaining few percent of this. Okay, I think this is a bridge that I can walk on, although I'm not entirely sure. Nope, it's not. <laughs> nope, it's not. I don't have any way of getting back up there, do I? I think I've just got to take the L and... Oh, actually, 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 actually. If I do... If I stand here, and I hold off for a minute and let my speed build, can I then do this and then... Ugh, almost. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I've just got to wait a little bit longer. Nah, it's not working. Maybe try off this. Although this is pretty much committing if I if it goes wrong. It went wrong. Okay, I didn't actually take that much damage there, that's fine. Okay, last one. What up, Krabbeth? Missiles go ahead. Look at that, stacking up to a fucking 40 fire on them. Beautiful. Don't know what these guys do when they die, it doesn't look like anything. These guys are the main ones that are difficult, because they actually fire something that chases you. And if they lock me down like they just did, I'm not going to be good. Get out of here, you. Get your dirty balls away from me. I actually genuinely don't remember where this leads. I'm pretty sure it's a boss, but I, I haven't done it in so long, and I think I only did it once. I barely remember anything about this. This is pretty cool. This game's got some twists and turns nowadays, although I do wish the runs weren't quite as long. I'd like to be like them to be like 40 minutes rather than what they are currently, which is like two hours. <laughs> no, not quite two hours, but some of the runs are like nearing an hour. Let's just let's not fuck around here. Let's 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 go the right way. There's probably a shortcut, but. I'm going to take the long way around. I don't want to mess with it. Might as well take a healing drone while we're at it. Yeah, I don't know what these bridges are about. I don't know how I how I actually use those. <laughs> Guess I should take this at this point. See? Same thing again, actually. Right. Pretty sure I'm going in there. Enter Null Portal. I would imagine that's where I'm going, although I'm not sure. <laughs> it just looks very framed, doesn't it? No? Was that not what I was meant to do? I thought, I was, I thought I'd be fighting a boss now. So this is just like back to the start, right? I do not know what I just did wrong, or if I did anything wrong. This is meant how it's meant to go. I don't know, but there's a lot of... There's a lot of, um... Thingy enemies in here. Void enemies, so maybe I did do the right thing? I, I, I don't know. 
The game gets confusing this late in. Hello, Void Boss. How art thou? Oh, the amount of fire we stack on now is just ludicrous. It's great. Yeah, I don't. I, I like. I need to see like a map of the paths you can take and how to like how and where you can end runs because it's very confusing at the moment. I'll be honest. Very, very confusing. At this point, I think I just need to find the teleporter, don't I? Which I don't actually know where it is at the moment. I'm checking around, but I don't see it. A storm is approaching. I feel like there's already enough going on, game. I feel like a storm isn't particularly necessary. Also, crab, can you you die? You die, crab. Fill you with burn. There you go, crab. That wasn't so hard, was it? What the hell? Whoa! Some, something like yeeted me back then. As if there's still chests I could be opening at this point. Like, come on now. What is that? Ah! I was trying to look at what this is. It's just a dead. I think it's just a dead imp. I have legitimately no idea where the teleporter is. Yeah, I thought that last section there should have kind of been the off ramp, considering we're at like an hour now, just over an hour. I was thinking that'd be the end of the run, but. Apparently we're still going, but I think I made a mistake and I accidentally picked the option to loop rather than to fight the boss, which is my bad. Oh my lord, what the fuck was that? I, don't, I, I just don't know where the teleporter is at all here. A lot of visual effects happening right now that are quite confusing. Ah, here it is, here it is, here it is. It's uh, on top of this, I think. Where is it? I saw, I can see the little light things, so it should be somewhere around here. But I don't see it. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Right. Mending Frost Whisper. Is that all of these? Oh my god, this could be a pain in the ass to kill all of these. Especially when they're freezing me so easily. Luckily, my missile launcher will do some good work against them. But me hitting them directly in the air isn't going to be super easy. Especially considering hitting them seems to bash them further and further away. So the more damage I do to them, the harder it is to finish them off. Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Nice. Razor wire there. Ah, fucking stop raising me. Yeah, this game's wild, man. This game's absolutely wild. I was like, ah, I'm gonna get a, a good couple of recordings in today. No, no, no. Two hour risk of rain run incoming. Also, I seem to be near unkillable, too, so. <laughs> I'm not even dying to, like, enemies hitting me or anything, so. Crazy shit going on. I do like all these little bombs we've got around. Boom, boom. Nuking enemies with all those. Boom, boom. Oh, hello, little void snake. How are you? Alright, cool. I think once we get to the third stage, we can obliterate. So we're near it. We're, we're nearing the end, anyways. The obliteration ending, at least. We've got to find the teleporters pretty much soon as, because we don't need any more items at this point. Let's go teleporter hunting, shall we? 
I see it already. Do you know, this stage, the teleporter is always, like, right under this arch here. It's always, uh, like, this side or that side. Every single time. I don't know why. I'll fight the boss straight away. Overloading Beetle Queen. Not that bad. I mean, as soon as the fire starts stacking up, it's going to die. Although, overloading does mean it can just, like, fire a lightning bolt while it insta-kill me up on occasion, so... I think while we're killing other enemies, we're gaining so much Turpaz Brooch charge that it's pretty hard for it to do that. I mean, look at our Turpaz Brooch. Right now, it's just full. Our health has just got an extra full bar on it all the time. We've got frozen right at the end there. Oh, there's a clear Dune Strider here as well, just chilling. How you doing? Didn't see you join the family. <laughs> I love characters like this, where it's just status effects everywhere. It is quite beautiful. And we are nearly done. There is an orb flying around this. I just want to see what the, where this orb leads. Because this might be the obliteration stage. I might be might be wrong. I thought it was third stage. Maybe it's second. Yeah, so there you go. Look. Celestial portal. I believe this is the obliteration one. That it is. That it is. And we can somewhat cheese this to, uh, like, zoom past, but... I was just about to say it's probably not a good idea, because it's easy to miss. As I just proved. Am I going to fall forever? Uh, I was going to say, I thought it teleported you back, but <laughs> clearly not, but oh my god. Why do I have so much speed now? Oh my god. Obliteration. Yes, I am. There you go, baby. End of the run. End of the line. My god. So, yeah. Pretty fun run. Pretty long one. Pretty fun run. That's actually not too bad for length, considering I did go to a few extra stages. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Our first victory. And I'll see you guys in the next one.